so guys the next topic that we have is commit rollback and save point so we'll start with commit commit rollback and save point very simple commands but very powerful so the commit rollback and save point remember i mentioned that the dml commands needs commit ddl commands they are auto commit what exactly is the meaning of commit commit is very simple saving your data like if you are writing something in ms word if you hit control s it will save your data right the same way inside database if you are making any changes it will save the data once you issue the commit statement when we say ddl commands are auto commit when you try to create a table alter a table drop a table truncate a table those commands do not need a commit from you no commitment just issue the statement and done right but when you try to issue the dml commands insert update delete merge those kind of commands you need to explicitly save your data and if you don't save your data for the other users they will still be seeing the old data for you to understand what i'll do is i'll try to create a scenario by taking two sessions with same user onto the database and then in both the users both the same users will be seeing how difference it makes or what different type of data both users will see without committing and after committing the data all right so for this what i'll do is i need two sessions okay so let me clear this one this is session 1 and let me open another session schema browser where is open sql worksheet i am opening another worksheet so i will have two worksheets for us to see the exact difference for this example what i'll do is i'll use the select star from books underscore one table that's the table i'll be using for our practice okay guys so we have two worksheets all right let me run this command what i'll do is i'll run these commands parallelly in both the sessions so you are able to see the difference so in session 1 i'll run this command and in session 2 also i'll run this command all right so we have one record that is visible to both the users guys assume the first user is myself i have logged into the database the second user is anyone inside the database who has access to the same table for the practice scenario of course i am logged in as my own user but it can be any user who is watching the data all right so this session the left one is myself logged into the database the right session is somebody who is trying to query the table okay anyone it can be even my own session by some other user so you will get to know the difference what happens in live session and what rest of the world sees your data as so this is rest of the world this is myself right now both the tables intact myself and the rest of the world sees the data as it is right there is one record inside the table so what i'll do is i'll try to insert some record or one record in my session into this table so insert into books underscore one values and the book id is 2 the title is xyz and category is <clears throat> sales so let us execute this command okay can you see row is inserted so in this session the row is inserted let us try to query the table again select star from books underscore one 
enter so what do you what do we see we have two records one and two right this is my session within my session i inserted a record into the table but for the rest of the world i will run this command and then see the output all right guys so this is issue with the sql developer in this case we won't be able to see the data what i would do is i would need another user to perform this test so what i'll do is give me a minute guys i'll quickly create another user and then perform the test because in sql developer with same users they'll see the same data so let us try to create another user and let's go in a genuine way so sql plus slash ssdba this is your actual database where all of you get connected so create user test one identified by test one this all comes under database administration guys grant connect comma resource comma create table to test okay we don't need create table statement resource to test one all right and grant okay for now just forget about these commands because grant and revoke is our next topic so grant select on aks colu dot books underscore one to test one all right so now the same database i will connect as a different user so let us add another connection connection name test underscore one user username test one test one it is sql cloud.dbhgenesis.com this we can always see in this kind of like when you connect to sql plus it's easy to see the results so for your understanding purpose let me open another worksheet i think it should open up automatically come on this is test one right so where is the worksheet okay so with the test user now the test user has permissions you can see this grant grant is a command that allows you to give permissions so what i did is i gave select permission on my schema dot books that's aks golo dot books to the user so let us try to query the table select star from aks golo dot test one i'm just checking if the permissions are working fine or not sorry what's the table name the table name is books underscore one by mistake so we can see this user is able to query the table now it will be easy for us to see the result see guys this user is able to see only one record in the output correct but with aks golu i already inserted one record inside the table and when i query the table i see both the records that means it is not saved inside the database until you commit okay so what i'm doing is i'm committing my data now till now i haven't committed it and until you commit the data the outside world will only see the data that is stored inside the database so that means when you issue commit you are saving your data so now i want to save this insert of course in this session i am able to see but it is not saved inside the database as i issue the commit statement and now with the outside world or other users i will query the table again can you see now the outside world can also see 
both the records that's the beauty of commit statement so if you don't save your data that will always be a problem all right 